expansive, beautiful, and somewhat intriguing. Hi, let's take a look at Foundation Season 2, Episode 1. I never made a video about the first season, so here's a brief look into it. And a side note as well, I started reading the books as a kid, but never finished them, so I won't be making any comparisons to it. So, let's get into this. His math was right. The Empire is dying. Wars will be endless. <laughs> Thousand worlds reduced to cinders. The first season had some structural issues which caused problems with its story development and momentum. It also had a tough time communicating the complexity of the narrative, universe and characters. But that was to be expected as the setup of the books makes it incredibly problematic and something that can only be resolved with multiple seasons, if at all. After all, the books were written in a post-World War II era and didn't lend themselves too well to an on-screen adaptation. There's a reason why they failed to get this going for 70 years and that meant changes would have to be made. Overall though, the show did a decent enough job of laying out the different timelines, characters and overarching narrative. It also used its massive budget to build the worlds and sets instead of investing it in pure action and it did so with tremendous success. Of all the sci-fi shows out there right now, Foundation is the one that has the most coherent presentation in terms of art and character design as well as cinematography and effects. In short, it's flawed and drastically deviates from the books, but what it tries to do it does with style and a genuine attempt to bring the world to life. Whether you like what that is, is a different story. The second season starts where the first one ended, but stumbles around its story somewhat as it tries to work between three parallel narratives that are supposed to come together, create narrative direction and set up the stakes. Unfortunately, it feels disjointed and is brought together somewhat inorganically. I love the scenes with Empire as Lee Pace is ridiculously entertaining in this and the political elements and aura of intrigue are genuinely interesting to watch. But everything else feels somewhat forced. The relationship buildup between Gale and Salvor in particular feels off. In general, and I don't know if it's the writing or the performances, but both come off as needy, angry and somewhat lost. And yes, that fits the characters and their part of the story to a certain degree, but it's slightly antagonizing and makes them seem very insecure, which is a problem if we're talking about two of the main characters responsible for pushing the narrative ahead. So let's hope they stop being passive and negative and start actively moving the narrative forward. As for the rest, Bear McCreary's score is still just as voluminous, romantic and elegant, while creating a feeling of infinite adventure. And the overall production design is just as staggeringly high quality as in the first season, you have bold costume designs, retro-futuristic and modern set and ship designs, and exquisite matte paintings to round it all off. All of which is often amplified by the light and strategic use of VFX. It feels just as expansive and ambitious as before, and if the trailer is any indication to go by, we might see some pretty massive set pieces as well. With all that said, let's see if the show keeps improving its narrative and flow, and hope it doesn't just remain visual splendor and unapologetic frivolity because otherwise I cannot see how this show will survive for the 8 seasons Goyo has planned, as the show is supposed to include the entire Foundation franchise and not just the trilogy. But that's it from this one, I will review the complete season when it's over, but until then I will take an in-depth look at Oppenheimer and The Witches Season 3. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.